Hi, today's wake up call is intuitive teaching. It all comes from one of my favorite things to do and I've done this exercise with students since the 70s. I, I, in the 70s, I got an intuition while teaching and I heard words coming out of my mouth that were better than what I was going to teach. And I said, this is coming from a higher place. It's good, how do you cultivate it? Well, I started doing these exercises with the students and with myself, and I now do it almost every day. I, it's like mindful walking. You're just not thinking, but I did it very intentionally, and then it has a replay of what you just did. It goes like this. It takes 60 seconds. Look at your hand, and now close it, and don't think anything about it. Don't think about your fingers. Don't think, why am I doing this? Don't remember what you're doing this today. Just look at your hand. And now stay in pure observation mode, observing your hand and open it. And now here comes the best part. This, this step is, is the most important thing. Replay it, which involves a task of no mind using your mind. I know, sounds paradoxical. Close your eyes or just don't look outward and replay that event, including any sense perceptions you had while you did it. Like if you smelled or heard something, include them. Knowing that you're going to do this experiment or, or, or exercise with the senses, when you do it at home or at next time when you're walking around or wherever you are at work, re record what you're seeing with your senses and then replay that. That exact reenactment has a very strong power because you're exercising being there after you were there. That's it. It takes less than 60 seconds to do it. And you do this periodically so that you, you're in a state of giving yourself up to something better. The, the hope is if something intuitive comes in, it comes from your higher self, a, a wiser version of what you were going to say. And you could hear yourself while you're speaking. And you get the ability to stand apart and be yourself. This mind but no mind gives you this ability. And so now you become an intuitive teacher, an intuitive person. But the best part, is yet to come. If you can cultivate this with this very simple exercise, and now you have an actual problem, a real problem, and, and, and maybe it's a, it's a problem with somebody, and they keep appearing to your mind, and, and you kind of want to get away from it, you don't want to think about them, but maybe you should just stop and let that replay inside of you. What's the problem? And see what exactly you're thinking. So you're observing you about a problem, maybe getting an intuition from a, from a deeper you, a better you, a higher source, maybe your higher self about what to do. And that's the purpose of the whole exercise. So that's it. That's the wake up for today. I hope it's useful to you and I'll see you in one of those tomorrows.